District 13 Nuclear Power. Hello, my name is Jimmy Dickinson. And my name is Mario Castillo. And today we'll be talking about nuclear and graphite in the 1930s. What is nuclear? Nuclear is energy derived from the nuclei of atoms. What is graphite? Graphite is a black, crystalline form of carbon. This carbon is used to power nuclear devices. The cyclotron bombards various elements into different atoms. Many volts of electricity were required to transfer the elements through the atoms. These people contributed to nuclear research in the 1930s. The atomic bomb is defined as a powerful explosive nuclear weapon fueled by the splitting or fission of the nuclei or specific isotopes of uranium or plutonium in a chain reaction. An atomic bomb has a strength equal to that created by thousands of tons of TNT or trintilline. The Manhattan Project was a scientific breakthrough, making the production of the atomic bomb possible. Using earlier info, they were able to advance in nuclear development. Fallout shelters in the 1930s were nothing like whatever today's look like, I think. It is an enclosed space specially designed to protect occupants from radioactive de debris or fallout resulting from a nuclear explosion. So that basically means a shield that protects people from radiations. The go government often um, recommends that you stay in for two weeks. Food is good to have, but water is mandatory. The government could not fund nuclear research because the Great Depression was getting in the way and their funds were too low, although it was rescued temporarily. After failing using techniques such as doweling and dovetailing, Aitchison found a simple solution by threading opposite ends of the electrode in 1908. Modifications include the taper electrode joint and the connecting pin introduced in 1931, which significantly improved joint strength and the ease of assembly. This is the evolution of nuclear discovery and how it happened. This is a short video of an abandoned graphite mine. Yeah, see how far back the building goes? It's almost on a campfire here. With bush light. Concrete's crumbling pretty quickly. This is the graphite mine shown in the previous video in its day. Its location is in New York and it's called Greenfield. As a graduate student at Caltech, Rob Lee at Evans worked with the local health officers investigating the dangers of patent medicines based on radium. While a professor at MIT in the 1930s, he tested former radium workers and investigated the studies of factory workers who had dotted watch dials with glowing in the dark radium pants. At the MIT Radioactive Center, he developed instruments for determining radiation counts and created guidelines for allowable radiation exposure. Evans also was the first to use radiodyne to evaluate thyroid function. He's considered one of the founders of nuclear medicine. During the 1930s, graphite was mainly used as carbon, which powered lights. Research allowed them to increase the battery life. A new company by the name of EverReady had created an electric flashlight using the technology of the carbon. One of the most recognized images of early radio broadcasting was the ring mount carbon microphone. The microphone element itself was supported by springs to isolate it from noise and vibration. Carbon microphones had limited frequency response and had an inherent hiss, but they had high output levels and were low impedance devices. This meant that they didn't need additional amplification and did not need extensive shielding to prevent hum pickup. Lead pencils contain no lead but graphite. In 1930s, they took pencil developing to another level. They created pencil vending machines, which gave people pencils with sharpeners. You may think that graphite is poisonous, but in fact it's not. Large numbers of graphite are inserted down the throat to soak up bad substances and poison victims. Then vomiting is induced to bring up absorbed toxins. The rest can come out a nasty-looking black stool for the next couple of days. 
These are the links to the website where we got our information. I hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thanks for watching.